welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. Um, if you're easily triggered, leave now because this show is not for you. I have a um, program today. It's going to be about the side effects of being a simp. I'm going to show you how women use men just for money. Just using them. I cannot stand a using person. But I'm going to show you some clips out of fair use. And for educational and informational purposes, to teach you about people who have these hearts, if you want to call it that, they ain't nothing but snakes to me. I cannot stand a person who uses somebody spitefully. So, um, let me go ahead and start playing this. And you tell me what you think about it, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I cannot stand, ooh, okay, so the motherfucker. Let's get started. Oh man, you say you fly niggas out, but why the fuck you getting the money from? The niggas? Another nigga. Yes, I, I would take a duck money wow. and do whatever for my nigga. I like you. Now, if you didn't catch what the chief just said, I'm gonna back it up. This man asked, uh, he said, like, you say you flying people out, because normally it's the men who fly women to see them. But this woman says that she'll fly a man to come see her. And he asked her where you get the money from. And she's telling him that I get the money from simps, basically. I get the money from good-hearted men who just want to have an opportunity to be with me or to help me, and I take that money and I spend it on my man. I take their money and I spend it on the pookie, a rary, a nook nook. I cannot stand bitches like you. All you care about is what you want to do for yourself. You have no heart, no moral. Now, there are some suckers. There's some simps out there, okay? And there are also some gullible good men out there, too, okay? And those men may genuinely want you, but you want to use him. There's a special place in hell for you. Oh, man, you say you fly niggas out, but why the fuck you getting the money from? The niggas? Another nigga. Yes, I, I would take a duck money. Wow. And do whatever for my nigga. I like you, Charlie. <laughs> just, I ain't the duck though. I ain't. I'm saying though. I told nigga that, but he wasn't with it. It's not even about being with it. It's just like a respect thing. As long as you're not fucking, because this nigga's out here, you don't have to fuck every nigga for you money. You don't. Period. Yeah. I hear that. Y'all, did y'all hear that? Because this is true. I see it too. Women don't have to sleep with men to get money. I knew one particular whore who was getting cash apps from different dudes that she was not sleeping with and maybe one or two she was but i'm talking about twenty dollars here fifty dollars there two hundred dollars here a hundred fifty dollars here and if man is giving your woman money majority of the time he is having sex with her but there are men who pay for on the hope so and what i mean by this is that if i pay her some money will she give me some coochie i hope so if I buy some things, will she be my girlfriend? I hope so. If I send her money through Cash App or Venmo and, you know, and do stuff for her, will she look at me as a, 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 a someone she wants to be with? I hope so. And those are the dudes that she's talking about because they are out there. Suckers, simps, dudes like that are out there who will just give women money. You made the game corrupted. The game is radioactive now because of these weak ass men out there. Fuck every nigga for you money. Don't. Period. Yeah. A nigga, you can pull up on a nigga, give you five, ten thousand dollars. You just gotta be that. And that's that pretty what privilege. What world is that? Who doing pretty that? Pretty privilege. Thank that. you. Out here? Okay, okay, look. That must have been during the pandemic. Um, a nigga do that. Hello. Okay. It's like anywhere. <laughs> wow. Hey, look, look, when a nigga do that, do y'all look at him like he, like he a sucker? Like no. Y'all can't look at him like that's the general. That's propaganda. He asked the right question. If you look at a dude who giving you money, he ain't getting no coochie, do you look at him as a sucker? And she says, no. You know why she says that? Because that's the propaganda. That's the narrative. If a man just gives freely of his resources to the woman, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what he's supposed to do. Hell yeah, there's something wrong with that. Hell yeah. There's something wrong with that. I can't look at him like that's this. Generous, that's, that's generous. That's generous. That's generous. Really? Niggas, right niggas there. like that. You would want to be around a nigga like that before anything. Before anything. Because you know, if anything happened, you could call him and he going to pull up with it. For sure. He ain't, he ain't expecting nothing. Mm -hmm. So, 
this, this, these type of women will always have that plan B, that backup dude, these type. Not all women like this, but I talk a lot about these ratchet thoughts on my show, and this is one of them. You can be in a relationship with this woman, and she will still be dealing with that dude on the side. Because no man, you know, he might take him a week or two off, but if he's used to sending money or if she is used to receiving money from that man, she's not going to stop that because she's with you. And every time you have an argument, any time that you separate or any time you can't deliver something, you can't pay um, something on the car, you need a car repair, and you you about one check away, you got to wait till next week to get your check, but she need a car now, she going to call Philip. She going to call the Pookie, Ray Ray, Nook Nook, and the rest of them who may have the money on hand and get the money from them. And tell you that um, a friend helped you or a family member helped her out. These women are low lives, man. They, 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 they're they not good for you, man. And that's my humble opinion about all this stuff. That, that's not good. He might he might expect something, but he going to let it happen naturally. Niggas not getting no pussy because they force. They be pressed. Force. Yeah. They be pressed. They be pressed about it. Yeah. I don't got to spend $1, right? I could, I could use it just off my face card game. Sometimes you gotta pay a bitch off. It gotta be transactional. I like the thrill of this shit. Like if I... She said, you gotta pay a woman for some coochie. It got, sometimes it gotta be transactional. These ain't nothing but some gold digging skanks, man. Women, don't listen to this trash. Don't listen to this trash. It's crazy because young women are believing this trash. They are pushing the propaganda of being a whore. That's it. That's all they want to be now. A freaking gold digging, using, no moral, having whore. Look at this shit. Like if, I, if I give you 10000 that means all right, I automatically know my mind she's going to give you some pussy one day. Like, I want to use my motherfucking face, my game. Like, see where I'm at. Everybody don't have that. Facts. I get that. And some men just like spending money. They yeah, have it. Man. That whole situation, that whole story is disgusting to me. It's despicable. It's sickening to hear that. It, it pisses me off to hear stuff like that. Cause I know there's some good people out there that get taken. I hate, I cannot stand a, a using motherfucker. I cannot, I cannot stand one of those. I cannot stand them, man. See, they make you want to do something to them. I am, I'm not lying, man. That, you get betrayed by somebody or you try to do good or do right by somebody and they just using you. They're not going to help you. They're going to they, they see you as a mark or something like that. Man, you make someone want to pull your throat out your neck, man. I mean, that, that type of shit, I cannot stand people who use people, good people at that. Now, it's different if you messing with somebody in the streets. It's all, they may have that coming because they use other people, but they're a good, decent people. I cannot stand that. Like, when they swindle people off their Social Security checks for scams and stuff like that, I don't like them. I don't like people like that. They're at the bottom of the barrel with me. If I could get them in one room, they're going to see these hands quick, cuz, because I don't like that. Let me play something else. Women who say your son's not going to be cash apping any girls. Back it up. Women who say your son's not going to be cash apping any girls when he gets older, paying bills, taking girls out on dates, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I just want to let you know that mine will. My and your sound ain't going to be nothing more but a stupid sucker simp. Your provisions and your protections, they come with restraints, gentlemen. You don't give your resources to just anybody, especially if you got some D-cup, triple D-cup breasts or a nice button, a small waist, pretty face. That does not mean that she deserves your money or your protection. Your children deserve that. You deserve that. Your closest family members deserve both of those things. But a random woman who is not even giving you any type of inclination that she wants to be with you, she don't deserve shit. But a number four from Whataburger, that's what you give her. Give her a number four from Whataburger. Most times the number four from a uh, McDonald's or Whataburger make them drop their panties. I'm just giving you what I know. Um, that number four will get you in the dough. I'm telling you right now will my son will be cash shopping women that he's interested in my son will be paying bills 10 years later my name ray quavius i'm 26 years old and i'm addicted to tricking um yes you heard it this is some negro that just said he's addicted to tricking 
I thought it might be something funny for you. I'm 26 years old, and I'm addicted to tricking. Um, it probably started off in like third or fourth grade, you feel me? You know, when you're younger, you're buying girls, you like honey buns, candy, Capri Suns, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But now that we older and elevated, you know what I'm saying, hair, nails, car note, rent, couple chips here and there, just little stuff like that, you feel me? Yeah, that's pretty much how it all got started for me. My I'm gonna tell you something. I can really believe something like that happened, you know why? Because a lot of these boys are being raised by women and women will put their feminine mindset inside the skull of a boy so he starts to react like a woman, think like a woman, don't have any emotional intelligence like most women. Very impulsive, very emotional. But they need the temperance. They need a the man to help them control that, to teach them that. But most women, because they're single mothers, are putting feminine, feminine ways in boys. I'm not saying they're doing it intentionally. But some of them may be or may not. But either way, you tend to become who you hang around. This is why the old folks used to say birds of a feather flock together because they're going to be something in common. Not just something in common, but there's going to be something taught. You're going to be converted to one mindset from another. Somebody's going to be converted. If you're a good person, but all you hang around one day, you can come out of your neighborhood and decide to hang with nothing but bad people. You are going to most likely become bad. Your influences, who you choose to be around, has a lot to do with developing or destroying your character. Like I said, I can't stand on using motherfuckers. I, I can't stand them. I, just, I can't stand a using person, boy. I'm telling you, I, I don't like them. I don't like them. But anyway, you let me know what you think about this um, subject matter, you know? You know, I'll be seeing you pretty soon. Talk to you later.